All right, I'm back. Part two of today's show. Ran out of time because I just wandered all over the place and talked about different things and rambled. And you'd think I got distracted, but it's all in the bowl. It's all in the bowl. It's all in the glass. Drink all of it. Suck it in. Put that stuff in your head. It's good for you. It's like milk. It's good for you. All right. I don't know if milk's good for you or not. Maybe. So, the opponents, I'm going to recap here. You got the two opponents running for, say, president or governor uh, or whatever. And uh, one candidate says, oh, he's against this. And the other guy, oh, he's against that. And I'm pro-life. And the other guy says, I'm pro-choice. And uh, kiss words. And uh, they're both kind of wrong, really. <clears throat> I don't want to vote for either one of them. Can I vote for the other guy? Another? Should there be somebody else to vote for? I'll vote for myself. Because I'm, like, not stupid. Yeah, I'm realistic. I'm not going to win because the only person voting for me is me. And, you know, maybe two other people. Because they like me and they think, gee, D. McClung is a pretty cool guy. Uh, and I am. So here's the thing. If you say you're pro-life, you're anti-abortion, anti-nature, anti-reality, anti-freaking truth, and so forth, and anti-nature, but, uh, you know, there's one other thing. You're anti-freedom. Because I'm pretty sure in a free country, the government doesn't, you know, tell people what to do with their bodies because it's their body they own themselves and they own anything in it like you know they own their own you know their kidney uh, that's my kidney it's in my body it's kind of a fixed inside me and it works like kidneys are supposed to work <clears throat> and if I want to cut out my kidney and I can go to the doctor and say, you know what, doc? Oh, let's make it something else. Like a, let's make it a gallbladder or a, an appendix. Uh, hey, doc, I think you need to take my gallbladder out. I think you need to remove surgically, biologically, scientifically, surgically, remove from my body my ruptured appendix, which is killing me and save my life. And the doctor says, sure, it's my job. I'll take that right out of there. You don't, you don't need that in there anyway. You can live perfectly well without an appendix or a gallbladder, apparently. Well, it's been three months since I have my gallbladder out, and I'm still not normal yet. So, okay. But at least I don't have a stomach ache because the gallbladder is all plugged up and inflamed because I've got a, like, a gallbladder stone. I went to the doctor, doctor. Hey, if I don't take that out, you're probably going to die. Okay then, do it. And they did. And let's suppose, you know, I've got uh, burst erupted, uh, burst, bursted, <laughs> erupted, exploded, freaking shredded uh, appendix. Like my, uh, my companion, my spouse, my friend, my best friend, my companion, my... Uh, my wonderful woman uh, that lives with me. And that's another story, by the way. I'll get to it someday. Uh, and, it, and he does that. It's his job. Oh, I'll just help you out there. Nye, nye, nye. And takes out the thing and the damage and the poison and I'm good. Suppose the government, suppose there's some people that say, I'm pro gallbladder stones. <laughs> Or, I'm pro appendix not being removed from a body because it's like back in the old days, you know, back in the freaking dark ages when people say, Oh, you can't like uh, cut open that person and take out that poisoned uh, thing and, and remove that exploded appendix because that would be sacrilegious or something. And you don't remember? Remember that? No, you don't remember. You remember reading about it maybe. You know, back in the old days, oh, the body is a temple. You can't, that's God thing. You can't be like cutting that open. That's sacrilegious or something. 
thank God humanity put that shit behind them and don't think that way anymore. <clears throat> they actually think like, let me think, uh, body, animal, human, there is no God, and um, certainly not a Christian God, because that's just unbelievable in so many ways. Um, yeah, atheist, me. And uh, the only way to be if you're like, got a brain. <sighs> so, the guy, a candidate, said, I'm pro life, bingo. I'm not voting for you because you probably, I mean, I'm pretty certain because you're like a freaking zealot, Christian fanatic, retard, delusional, which means insane. Delusion. If you're having delusions, you're insane. That's that's part of the description of being insane is you have delusions. You know, things that aren't real. You believe things that are just not real. Alright. And the fact that is there are millions of these people running around saying, I'm an intelligent human being. No, you're not. Don't even say it because I'm going to slap you. Get out of my face, you ignorant freaking retard. All right, it's a pro-life. No. Pretty much means I want abortion made illegal and I want the government to force you not to have an abortion. Everybody, so basically bottom line here is he wants to be a tyrant, he wants to be a bully, he is a bully, and he wants the government to dictate what we do, which they're not allowed to do because in this country the Constitution says, uh, government, Here's what you can do, here's what you cannot do, and, and it's in the Constitution, and it says this, and it means, and it says, you know, basically it's saying, uh, this is the law for you, government people, and you can't break this law, otherwise you're committing treason, and we wouldn't kill you. You know, like, so help me God, at the end of the oath of office means, you know, uh, if you break your oath, if you violate the Constitution, you have committed treason, and the penalty for that is, we can kill you, because you said so. You agree to be killed if you, you know, commit treason. And by the way, the word treason doesn't just mean whatever the Constitution says it means. It means what it means. Words mean what they mean. Look it up in the dictionary. Treason. Betrayal of something or someone. So if you betray someone, you commit a treason. And uh, we don't normally say, like, if you got a boyfriend, a girlfriend, you know, that cheats on you. And, you know, oh, I feel so betrayed. You, you don't call him a traitor as a rule. But you could because... <clears throat> That's what the word means. There is such a thing as using the proper word in the appropriate manner. Uh, so, which is what I do, because if you if you want to, if you violate the Constitution and violate your oath of office to not violate, you know, your oath, I'm not going to violate the Constitution, which is the law that governs the government. Then uh, you're lying. <laughs> and if you say at the end of that the oath of office, you say, so I'll be God, which means, which means, you know, God can help you because we're not. We're going to like, boop, send you up to God, as if there is one. We're going to send you up to God. See, in the old days, a couple hundred years ago, they thought there was a lot of people. Thank goodness that mythological bullshit way of thinking is dying out on the planet. Lot less religious people on the planet today than there used to be. Well, by the numbers, there's more people, but still, let's say roughly half of the people on the planet are like smart enough to know better, and the other half are just retarded fools. All right, pro life. Uh, everybody that I've ever heard say pro life says the same thing. Killing a fetus is a is murdering a baby. Uh, that's just stupid. It's not scientific. It's not logical. It's not even rational. It's just fucking stupid. I should probably explain why it's stupid, but I'm not because I have other things to talk about. You can just look up the word in the dictionary. Look up stupid in the dictionary. And here's your sign, by the way, if you're one of those people. Chances are you're not listening to me now. If you're one of those people, because you're probably saying, I'm not listening to you, you're telling the truth, and I don't like it. 
because you don't want to hear the truth. You'd rather be delusional. <laughs> and you'd rather have, you know, the government say, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. We've had enough of the Nazi fascist police state motherfuckers. And it's time we just do away with them. I mean, like, really? Why don't they just kill themselves? Why don't they just drop dead? Why don't we arrest them and put them in prison or in an insane asylum where they belong? What the hell's wrong with you people? I'd be willing to participate in something like that. To some capacity. And I'm doing my job. My, my obligation is I'm informing you of things and giving you things to think about. And maybe you'll actually... You know, rub two brain cells together and figure out that I'm pretty close to telling the truth here. Uh, you know. So, one guy says, I'm pro-life, I'm pro, and I'm pro-choice, and blah, 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 blah. One's anti-abortion, and they want to make it a crime to have an abortion. Or to perform an abortion. They want to make it a crime. Again, you know, before when it was like the dark ages and people were like total fucking idiots. Things don't change much, do they? <clears throat> so much for evolution. <laughs> so, by the way, cigarettes are crap these days. They don't stay lit. They taste like crap. But that's another episode for another time. So you've got this hypocrite saying, I'm pro-life, because he's not. He's anti-abortion, and he's a uh, wants the government to dictate to you and everybody in this country like nobody can have an abortion because I'm a fucking bully and a dictator and I want the government to be a fucking bully and a dictator and it's not allowed because free country you just don't do that that's the idea that's the word that's what the word means freedom means the government doesn't tell me shit to do it just minds its own business like you know built some roads or something and protects my rights, which is my right to have an abortion if I want one, because it's nothing to do with the government. So you got candidates, one saying this, one saying that, you know, I'm sorry, but that's what you're saying to me, and you know, I'm not voting for you, because I don't want you to be in power, because you're fucking freaking bully. All right, second thing, moving on to another thing. Finally, finally, the second thing here, another, another, there's a lot, but another one. Uh, let's pick one. Uh, Pro Second Amendment. I support the Second Amendment. Uh, consider this, if you will. Consider this, if you will. Uh, if you support the Second Amendment. Oh, excuse me. You know, I want to tell you something. There's the Constitution, which includes the Second Amendment. That's a part of the Constitution. The Bill of Rights. All of those things. So if you're if you're opposed to the Second Amendment, <laughs> then you're pretty much opposed to the whole Constitution and therefore opposed to a, a law that governs you as a government official. So you know, so I, people miss that. I don't see how you can miss that. I am anti Second Amendment. It's not... We need to have more common sense laws against guns. Um, huh. Excuse me. Alright. If you're opposed to the Second Amendment, you're opposed to the Constitution, which means you're a criminal because you don't want to obey the law that governs you as a government official. Duh. Oh, I like the Constitution except for those parts I don't like, in which case I don't support them. So I get to pick and choose what freedom means. I get to pick and choose what freedoms people are allowed to enjoy and exercise. And one of them is, oh, uh, you can't have a gun. Even though the Constitution is clear, uh, no, you can't do that. It's against the law to ban guns or to make laws that infringe upon the right to keep and bear arms. You understand what I'm saying? The law says you can't do that, governor or senator or president or candidate. 
You know, like Hillary Clinton. She wants more gun laws. Excuse me. You can't have any gun laws because the Constitution says, no, you can't. That's what it means when it says, shall not be infringed. Meaning, shall not be infringed. Period. End of story. So if you support the Second Amendment, which I doubt, because politicians say this stuff, they don't mean it. They're liars. They fucking lie. Get it? They are liars. Hillary Clinton says, I support the Second Amendment, but I don't really support the Second Amendment because I'm a fucking liar. She's trying her best to get, you know, she supports, she supports not having the right to keep and bear arms by us. You know, her bodyguards, sure, they can have guns. Secret Service can have guns. Police can have guns. Heck, even the DNR guys can have guns. What? <clears throat> All right. Judges can have guns. Cops can have guns. Cops can have guns. Why? And I'm not allowed to have a gun because, you know, that would interfere with a cop shooting me in the fucking face. Murdering me. Duh. Dice, pig motherfuckers. All right. Okay, I say the words a lot. I like to say the words because it's, it's for emphasis. Uh, it's not that I'm inarticulate and I don't have, uh, uh, I'm not literate and I don't have a knowledge of words. I can think of other words, but they don't have the impact as you're a fucking motherfucker. Because, then, you know, how are you going to argue with that? I am not. Well, yeah, guess what? The evidence says you are. So, fuck off. I'm not arguing with you. You're too stupid. It's like arguing with chickens. I'm not arguing with a fucking chicken. Seriously. All right. Second Amendment. If you're, if you support, if you say you support the Second Amendment, if you say you support the right of the people to keep and bear arms, the right, by the way, the freedom to keep and bear arms. Uh, if you actually believe that the Second Amendment, you know, shall not be infringed, it means what it means, then uh, you don't turn around and say, yeah, we need more gun laws. Okay? Like Hillary. Uh, I support the Second Amendment, but I want to make more laws taking people's guns away. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't see the contradiction in that, you're just brain dead. Because the Constitution, Second Amendment, says, no, you can't take away the rights of people to have keep and bear arms. Period. You can't do it. You can't make any laws that infringes upon that right. And uh, if you've got a law, that, then I'm sorry. <laughs> there are over 60,000 gun laws in America. Over 60,000, according to my sources. That's 60,000 illegal laws because the Constitution says you can't have any of those laws. None. Zip. Zero. Zelch. Nada. Shall not be infringed means no law what it means. It's English. Words mean what they mean. If you don't know what the word not and the word infringe mean, look it up in the dictionary. It still means what it always meant. It means not. Infringe. Period. End of story. Case closed. And it's not just the Constitution, not just the Second Amendment. It's the fact is I have a natural, inalienable human right, and the courts have ruled this, by the way, <clears throat> a few times. Supreme Court ruled that to some degree, but, you know, they kind of pussied out on us, and betrayed us by just not saying exactly what they're talking about. Like, oh, I'm a Supreme Court judge, and all nine of us here agree that the Second Amendment is the law of the land, and we, the government, cannot make any laws uh, infringing upon that right. So, you know, the Supreme Court would just automatically come out and say, just like, the Second Amendment means exactly what it means. You don't have to interpret that. You can just read it and know what it means. Shall not be a friend. It means no fucking law. So if you're pro-gun, 
or pro Second Amendment or whatever, you politician, I support the Second Amendment. Then you also demand that those 60,000 laws that infringe upon the rights of American people to have and keep bare arms, you would want those repealed and you would demand it. You would say so out loud. I know people would say, oh, you can't say that, you'll never get elected. Yeah, well, any freedom-loving American would vote for you if, if that was the only issue. And if you said, I want all the 60,000 laws abolished and, and, you know, repealed because they're illegal, unconstitutional for you people that follow that. So if you say, oh, I support, uh, you know, Second Amendment, then you, you don't, then by, by that very nature of that statement, you are opposed to any law that infringes upon the right. And it does, because if you have to have some sort of requirement like, oh, I have to register my gun, then, you know, that's an infringement, because it has to do with me having and keeping my gun. These things are not debatable, by the way. And I, I know you people like to have your opinion, and you like to argue. Americans are like that. They just like to yada, 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 argue, bicker, 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 bicker. And, you know, they don't do anything. They just keep bickering like a bunch of buffoons. So if a politician says, yeah, support the Second Amendment, but we need more gun laws. <laughs> and let's, like, totally not even think about the fact that there are already 60,000 gun laws that are illegal and not allowed in this country because, you know, Freedom says, no, you can't have that law. Duh. So, that's the second thing. First one was the pro-life bullshit, and the second one is the, oh, I support the Second Amendment, but not really. I'm just saying that because I'm a fucking liar and a hypocrite. Hillary Clinton, for one. <clears throat> Oh, I was talking about pro life stuff, all right? <sighs> Donald Trump says, heard him say it, I'm pro life. I mean, he's anti abortion and therefore anti science, anti nature, anti intelligent, and a bully. So I can't, in good conscience, vote for a man that is opposed to me having a gun. I cannot, or a woman in this case, I can't vote for a man that is, wants the government to make a law making abortion illegal. Do you think Donald Trump really believes that the government should ban abortion? Do you think, really think that? Well, that's what he says. And Rand Paul, of course, another bully and wannabe tyrant. He wants the government to force us all, all women, for example, uh, you can't have an abortion, it's a killing a baby, it's murder, you know, bullshit. It's an utter, absolute fucking bullshit. And that's the trouble with some of these candidates. They say good things, you know, like, good thing, good thing, good thing, good thing, stupid thing. You know, like, I'm in favor of this, good, I'm in favor of this, good, I'm in favor of this, good, I'm in favor of this, good. And then they say something stupid, like, abortions may be illegal. The government should force everybody not to have an abortion. Yeah, everybody should do as I tell them. I want them to do it the way I want. I'm a Christian and everybody should be what I am and do what I do and say what I say and think what I think and act according to what I act like. Well, he's a hypocrite, so he wants everybody in the country to be a hypocrite, I guess, apparently. <clears throat> Seriously, people. All right, we've done that. Second Amendment abortion thing. All right. Oh, by the way, if you're opposed to abortion, you're an idiot. And I'm serious. I don't mean that like, you know, just being nasty. I mean, really, you're clinically stupid or evil. You want to disarm the American people so the government can continue to be a fascist, Nazi, authoritarian, please stay, Nazi, Gestapo, bastard pig motherfuckers. And kill us on the streets as they are doing now. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I just read a thing the other day about, well, yesterday, actually, and it was like, Waco, and who's responsible? Uh, buck stops here, Hillary. Think about it. All right. She had something to say because she was Secretary of State. 
Okay. So what I'm saying is, it's, it's, well, later, but she was... <sighs> Hillary Clinton, in theory, according to what I've read, not that it's true, but it's what I've read, is that Hillary was calling the shots on Waco and pretty much so said, you know, like, take some tanks out there and uh, burn those people alive. 74 people burned to death and died from, you know, Hillary Clinton's directives to the uh, fucking Nazi bastard motherfuckers that were attacking uh, people, you know, exercising their rights to, you know, one, keep and bear arms, and two, to, uh, you know, practice their religion as they see fit, as stupid as it is, they have the right to act like a stupid idiot, believe shit that's stupid. You can't go around killing people just because they are idiots. That's too bad. And then I'd start with Hillary and those other government pieces of shit. Or you're thinking, oh, this man sure hates people. He is hateful. He is mean and hateful and he cusses a lot. And, you know, I read somewhere the other day that people who are, like, smart geniuses and stuff are, like, honest people. As opposed to dumb people. So, anyway, that's two. Uh, what third one would we say? Um... Can't think of a third one. I know there's at least a hundred more, but for the moment, let's just go with that. All right, so if you say you're a pro Second Amendment and you don't call for the repeal of those 60,000 illegal unconstitutional laws on the books now that have to do with guns, uh, then you're a fucking hypocrite and you're a liar and you're evil and you have no right, no business being in politics. You should either be in prison or in an insane asylum. End of story. All right, we're going to stop here. And I'll think of some other things like this, examples of this sort of thing, as we go along, and uh, we'll get back to you. But for now, uh, keep on keeping on, dudes, and do this. Talk to you later.